Hi, is this Shanna? Yes. Shanna, good morning. It's Dave and Angie at US 92 Radio here in Norfolk. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I, I'm good. And just to let you know, we're not telemarketing or anything, because I, I okay. think our, our last wish recipient uh, thought maybe that we were. So, no, <laughs> this is oh. this is a cool, <laughs> le- legitimate phone call here, okay? I just want you to know that. So, okay. anyway, how are you this morning? I'm doing all right. Well, good, good. Well, I kind of let the cat out of the bag a little bit there in my... Uh, <laughs> In what I just said, but <laughs> I'm calling because we have a great Christmas wish letter that I would like to share with you, if you have just a second. Yeah, that would be fine. I know you probably have some kids around there somewhere that you got to watch, so I'll, I'll just I'll try to make this brief, okay? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, dear US92, I have a wonderful friend who could really use some holiday cheer this year. She is an amazing single mother of five kids, and her only source of income is babysitting children. She's been struggling to make ends meet, and even her vehicle recently had a major repair done on it, which uh, put a major financial burden on her. I try to help her out as much as I can, but, you know, there's only so much uh, I personally can do. So between bills and food, I I just honestly don't know how she keeps such a positive outlook on life. She's amazing. She never thinks about herself, but always makes sure her kids' needs are met. My wish for her this year is simple, just a little help so uh, she can maybe give her kids a great Christmas this year. She deserves it. They deserve it. She's a wonderful gal, and I thank you very much. This comes from Chad. Oh, wow. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and and And, um, you know, I know Chad would love to be able to do even more, but uh, I I think this is time when when we let our other elves and friends step in and and help out a little bit too, if if you wouldn't mind. And I, I want to tell you a quick little story. There's there's a family here, the Book family, that uh, they have once again chosen not to give each other gifts between their family this year. They instead go out and uh, choose somebody to go shop for, basically, and you guys happen to be that wonderful family this year. So, oh, wow. Uh, and <laughs> so the Book family, thanks to them, uh, we have sent some elves out to do some big shopping this year, and we want you to know that each one of the children, they have purchased uh, some awesome clothes for them. Okay. And uh, we also told were told that uh, by a little elf that uh, you need a new winter coat. So you know what? They've got some clothes and a new coat for you. Oh, and wow. <laughs> Norfolk Iron and Metal has some toys for each one of the kids as well. And everything is already wrapped. Everything is done. All we need to do is have you get it and put it underneath your own tree. And boom, there you go. Instant Christmas. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, amazing. Oh, well, it is pretty amazing. And uh, what I love about it is this family says, you know what? Forget buying for ourselves. That's, that's not important. They wanted to do this again. And, uh, and we feel that uh, you're very deserving of this. And uh, we know that somehow you do get by, but I'm sure there's many days you wonder how, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> and that's a lot of stress because it's it not really that being a, a mom of five is not stressful enough. <laughs> you throw that in there on top of it, and um, and I'm sure there's many many nights you're sitting there uh, by yourself wondering how in the world are we going to do this another day. Right, I do think that a lot. Yeah, but you know what? It's because of people who care and friends and generous people who you don't even know that uh, they're going to help hopefully uh, put things. Uh, on the right track for you here and maybe give you a very bright, positive outlook here as you uh, move into Christmas and the next year. And we wish for bigger and better things to come and uh, hope your 2012 is just an awesome year for you. Thank you so much. (laughs) Well, thank you for letting us share this with you. And uh, now I guess all we need to know is how in the world we're going to get all these gifts over underneath (laughs) your tree. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> and how you're going to keep five kids from getting in them before Christmas. Right. <laughs> that, that, that might be even tougher yet. But Right. Yeah. Well, we want you guys to enjoy this Christmas and enjoy what all this means. And we hope that your kids will uh, someday look back on this Christmas and remember how this all came about. And one of these years, they're going to be able to do this for somebody else. You know, yes, th- think about that. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That hey, is very cool. And, and so what are the ages of your kids? Um, I have a four-year-old, a five-year-old, a six-year-old, and a, oh, he's going to be 12. Wow. Actually, it's Friday. I have a boy that'll be 12 Friday. Wow. And then I have a 15-year-old. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah. So you, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes, you are got your hands full. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, well, it's it's it, to me anybody who can babysit for kids is an amazing person uh, with amazing patience. So, uh, uh, so the fact you got five of your own and then you can still babysit on top of that, uh, you have been given a lot of patience. That's for sure. So, you keep up, you keep up the great work doing that. I know people appreciate uh, the work that you do through babysitting, but um, also, again, just have a very, very merry Christmas. And no people are out there thinking about you. All right. Okay. Thank you so much.